Hello, hello! Back for another chapter, day, whatever of password. And we've cycled back to the Roswell um, main menu. That's kind of neat. Come on, let me, let me load. Rotating the saves, we all know how important that is. Uh, you know, if you've watched the Echo playthrough, you know how important, how much that's important to me anyway. And how some people don't care, but it is what it is. Uh, I was in that state of consciousness that was somewhere between sleeping and being awake. God knows how early it was. I would have rolled over to check my phone, but I was still out of it. Ugh. I buried my head in my pillow to try and get more sleep. Something was nagging me, and the more I thought about it, the more I noticed the pit in my stomach growling. Growing? Yeah. Growing. Yeah. After tossing and turning... Yeah, we, 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 we visit in that vault. We gonna go. Come on. I made my way down to the bolt into the vault, uh, combined with the gut feeling I had, something was drawing me to the keypad next to the door. Man, I still feel like an idiot that I don't know what to do with <laughs> right? Like I feel like the game is throwing things at me. I don't know. Roswell? Uh, this feels bad, <laughs> you know, ah, uh, I still feel like maybe I'm not supposed to know what I'm supposed to type in yet, but, uh, I don't know. Because, like, Dave said something about, like, oh, if he could redo that day. Uh, I don't know if he saw redo. Okay, I don't. He didn't even say redo. He worded it differently. But, like, he said he was going to go get mushrooms, right? Uh, uh, Benson, tell me how this door works. <laughs> uh, I just feel like it's just not working. Like my brain's not working. Ah. Uh... Mansion. Okay. Uh, fuck. Yeah, I give up. It was too early for this, so I decided to head back to my room and prepare for breakfast. By the time we had all assembled into the dining room, Orlando went into the kitchen only to bring us uh, out breakfast. You know, you really don't have to cater to us. Oh, I know, but it's fun. I promise this won't last the whole month. Although I do wonder if people are going to be upset if they have to settle for cereal and toast. Orlando's... Uh, slunk back into the kitchen, presumably to grab more things for breakfast. So, anyone doing anything interesting today? Uh, think about trying the gym downstairs, you know, something different. Did you need someone to sport with, to sp spot you? Wasn't expecting you to offer something like that. You can get crushed and hurt yourself for all I care, then. Okay, okay, sorry, I'd, I'd be glad for, <laughs> for the assist. I just wasn't expecting it. 
I'll probably go for a swim and then maybe head into the forest. Oh, I think I want to go for a swim. It'd be nice to check out the hot tub, too. I think I'm going to spend the day in the kitchen. Again. What? what again? Well, yeah, true. I know, but... I wanted to learn. You don't know how to cook, Sal? Well, yes, but nothing fancy. He told me the last time he tried to make something fancy was... Well, it was... It was a story, to be sure. It seemed like everyone had plans for the day, and I was uh, with nothing really grabbing me. Why don't you join us, Dave? I mean, yeah. Join Dean and I, Dave. What, at the pool? Yeah, who knows? Could even check out the hot tub later, too. I could probably go for, go for taking a dip in there, too. Although, really, I just wanted to wade around in the water, given the weather seems nice. Well, all right. I guess I could join you guys today, then. We pretty much set out right away, telling the guys we'd reconvene at lunch. Well, I guess someone would find that cute. Uh, pool, yeah. The sun was out, and it was pleasantly warm. Uh, how, oft how often do you get to have a pool in the backyard, Dave? Mm, never. How could you not be excited, Dave? It's a pool. Careful, or you'll start to sound like Dean with the hot tub. Hey, now, it's, it's a hot tub. Oh, there is a bridge over here. Okay. All right. So that means I assume, like, way over here would be where, like, the... Or is that the hot tub way over there? Okay. In fact, I was going to go to the hot tub right now. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to see if I remember how to swim. How do you forget? You don't know if you remember? Hey, it's been a while. I figure it's like riding a bike, right? Well, maybe stick to the shallow end until you're certain you remember. Roswell uh, eased into the pool and began to paddle in place, although I could see he still had his feet firmly on the bottom of the pool. Uh, well, I mean, obviously. Uh, <laughs> especially between these two. Uh, leaving Roswell to get reacquainted with the pool, I wander over to Dean, fiddling with the controls off to the side. What happened to getting into the hot tub? You cut, <laughs> cut me some slack. I only just got here. Despite turning back the to the controls, he seemed to be hesitating, uh, switching them on. Struggling to turn it on, or seemed to be working fine last night. No, that's not it. That's not it. Just trying to figure out what temperature I wanted at. Obviously hot is best, but maybe that's overkill given it's already sunny. But if you're going to join me, why don't you pick? Dean then came, uh, came in close, shooting Roswell a cautious look before returning his attention to me. And if you want, we could make out, make out a little when Roswell's not looking. I glance over to Roswell. I, I glance over to where Roswell was, who seemed content just splashing around for the time being, seemingly lost in his own thoughts. Well, oh, it's locked. Can't do it. Uh, <laughs> uh, get in the hot tub. Yeah, I figured that was. That with Roswell preoccupied, there really wasn't any harm in taking a dip in the hot tub beforehand. Besides, if Dean, figu Dean figured out uh, he could get lucky in regards to getting a kiss, at least it was only a kiss he was suggesting. I slipped into the hot tub and sat back at the as the bubble started. So, so, last night was pretty good, right? You mean the movie? Sure, the movie. Dean came in real close, pressing his body against mine. And then maybe uh, everything that happened after. Or maybe just... In the next moment, Dean leaned in and kissed me tenderly, his hands hovering uh, while the rest of my body quaked. As he backed off slowly, I held, it, I held him in place. I wasn't sure if it was out of shock, or, but I held him firm by the fur of his neck. Oh. Cool. 
Uh, I cut him off, kissing him back hard. Okay, so that was like a timed, like it doesn't actually finish that, okay. It wasn't a long kiss by any means, but he backed off in a stupor to his side of the hot tub, dazed. Whoa. The silence lingered between us for a moment, before I smiled at him. Was it everything you ever hoped for? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, better, absolutely better than I imagined. Although, I take this as an invitation to kiss you whenever I want. We weren't sitting in the tub for all th that long before Roswell came over to see what we were doing before jumping in himself. The three of us sat in reluctant silence, enjoying the heat and the bubbles. Oh, that's right. Did either of you have an interest in magic? No, I, I don't really like magic. Like, the land system I find really off-putting. And not to mention the, what, 30-plus year card pool? Uh, not for me. But... <laughs> Also, most of the people I know that play Magic, I think are annoying, but that's more of a personal thing. And I'm sure that like, no, I've definitely met like really cool Magic players, but you know, I mean, I guess at least they're not Yu-Gi-Oh players, but what, like Wizards or like Vegas? Well, more like Vegas, I guess. Though, if you're a wizard, Dean, you better share your magic secrets. Well, I do know a few tricks, but I don't think they're, uh, they'd, uh, cons yeah, magic given the wand I use. Oh. Wait, you have a wand? Moving on. Uh, did you pick up on a few tricks since the last time, Roswell? Well, kinda. Although, more importantly, I wanted to know if either of you would be interested in being my assistant. Assistant? Don't think I've, uh, sub yeah. Me without my phone today. I can't just embarrassingly look up a word. Damn it. Enough to pull off uh, those sk uh, skimpy costumes. That's all. That's all on Dave. Hey now. <laughs> we don't know if we need to wear a costume. We don't have to wear a costume, do we? No, no. I was just wondering, because it turns out all, turns out all the neat, traditional tricks are done better with an assistant, and wanted to give them a try. What, like song someone in half? Exactly! Well, count me out then. I don't want to get sawed in half. Well, you're a killjoy. The three of us uh, talked until it was time for lunch, each of us heading back into the chain uh, to get changed before heading back to the dining room. We somehow all ended up in the kitchen, eating leftover pizza from the night before. Pizza's still good. Of course it's good, I made it. Guess you have your, your uses after all. Who do you think has been making breakfast? Benson, right? Orlando, obviously. Yeah, I don't think Benson had uh, much to do at all, really. Orlando's been doing most of all, not all the meals you've eaten, Tyson. So can he actually cook or not? Uh, Benson, I mean. You'd, ha you'd have to think so, right? It means Orlando could take a break. Hey, I'm here, you know, and I like cooking. Yeah, yeah, we know. Just don't don't want you to overdo it. When we eat in our fill, we each start branching off uh, for the afternoon. Oh, Dave. Hmm? Before I could get the chance to get anything else out, I was picked up by the uh, midsection and squeezed in uh, a tight hug. Oh, gotcha. What happened next was a flurry of little kisses up my neck with a firm one planted right on my mouth before being eased back down onto the floor. I couldn't help but uh, giggle to myself a little bit, feeling my cheeks burn. Thankfully, Dean and I were the last ones here. At least I have uh, to face embarrassment along the giddy feelings I was having. <laughs> feeling all right there, handsome? Is this just how you're going to greet me from now on? Well, sure, why not? Unless you have a problem on your end, <laughs> can stop if you want. Figured that maybe should wait until we're alone, though. Pro 
probably a good idea for now. At least while we're testing the waters, right? Of course. Speaking of testing the waters, want to go on a date? Oh? Is it finally happening? Well, maybe not in the original sense of what I was thinking, but I figured we can still do stuff together, alone. Well, what do you have in mind? Uh, we t was talking to Orlando over lunch and pitched the idea that we could have stew, maybe. See if we could find any mushrooms out in the woods to add it to it. Mushrooms, really? Hey, I'm not much of a hunter, so looking for s some sort of game is uh, to use us out. Besides, the main appeal is that we'll be out there by ourselves, you know, all alone. I rolled my eyes at him, clearly not giving him the acknowledgement he was looking for to the prospect of having some privacy out, uh, outside. Dean then came in close, whispering in my ear, and I guess if you wanted to fool around a little bit while we have the privacy, that's an option too. Turned out, uh, he just took that as an invitation to be blunt about it and asked up front, uh, <clears throat> uh, earning him a groan. Dean backed off and laughed uh, heartedly. It was hard to tell if it was genuine about the suggestion. I wanted to say he was, but with how how he was also brushing off, uh, brushing it off, confused me. Yeah, well, maybe if you're lucky. Well, let's head out. Let's head on over to the greenhouse, and I can get a few bits, and uh, and we'll head out. Head on out. Should be fine, dressed as it is. We're not going to. We're not going to go all that far, I don't think. At least I can guarantee we won't end up like Roswell did, navigating and uh, navigating there shouldn't be too hard, I think. You think? Uh, okay, okay. I promised I won't get us lost. <laughs> we'll be back before nightfall. Dean uh, led the way out the back, heading towards the greenhouse. The weather looked all right, still sunny from before, but there were clouds on the horizon. Dark clouds. Looks like there might be some rain tonight. Another good reason to get back before it buckets down on us, then. All right, hang tight. I'll get us a bucket and something to put stuff in. Maybe a spade, you know. Might stuff that might help. All right, I can. I can do anything. I can do to help. No, no, you're good. Just stand there and look handsome for me. Won't won't take too long. The flattery was nice, but it was starting to get a little a little uncomfortable. After all, should I be giving him compliments? A pet name? Was that something you should do as a friend, just in case this didn't work out? Off to the side, there was a small uh, seedling, isolated from the others. Uh, the supposed suspected daffodil, among other flowers, it still look, uh, looked like an innocent enough sprout to me. Not that I don't know if it was supposed to look different than something presumably harmless. Almost ready? Yep, ready when you are. We headed around behind the greenhouse, with Dean leading the way, not once breaking stride. I kept close, eyeing uh, darts ahead, uh, upwards, as the canopy above covered everything in shade. In, in shade, yeah. As we walk a little bit before Dean stops suddenly, looking back to make sure I was still there. Uh, yeah. As I reach out to his hand, Dean met, uh, met me halfway, flashing me a smile and giving me my hand a little squeeze. Come on, not much further. I reckon here's a good start. start a uh, good place to start looking. All right, what should we be looking for? Nothing specifically. Just be careful. If you find something, let me make sure it's safe first. Yeah. Can't have you getting sick or getting the other sick by picking something deadly. Wait, there's mushrooms like that out here? Don't know for certain, but more than likely. Doesn't hurt to be careful, though. How bad are we talking? Well, let's see. Some can make you very sick. Others will just kill. Not straight away, mind you, but eat one in your toast. And I guess everything else you can either eat safely or will give you crazy hallucinations. Oh, I really hope you know what you're doing, Dean. <laughs> 
I have plenty of good ideas of what to look for anyway. Anything not sure, anything not sure, I just won't bring with us. You sure? What, you don't question Roswell uh, going? Uh, but not sure what, uh, about how well I'd go. I'll prove it. I think I can see something that might be worth checking out. Dean led the way further in, in before stopping, gesturing me closer to something growing near the base of a tree. Okay. Know what this is? Uh, I'm gonna guess it's a mushroom. Okay, smarty pants, what kind of mushroom? Uh, bitch, I don't know what a mushroom is. <laughs> I don't know what different kind. I know what a shiitake mushroom is. I use those to cook. Um, yeah, sure. I, I remember that episode of Cowboy Bebop. Uh, wrong part of the world for that, buddy. <laughs> Not even the right color for <laughs> for one of those. The one here is a shen- Okay. I mean, I suppose I could just, like, rewind time and choose the right one, but, you know, I won't. Okay, so it's fa it's a fancy mushroom. Neat. Dean wandered over to another tree nearby, checking something before gesturing me over. A Chandler again? No, but that's okay. This is what I wanted to show you anyway. Uh, but it looks the same as the other one, doesn't it? Mostly, but there's a couple ways to tell, at least during the day. What, you're telling me these glow at night? Well, actually, uh, these ones will. What you're looking at is a jack-o'-lantern. Looks identical to uh, Charler, yeah, during the day. But at night, they'll glow like a, a soft bluish green, a bluey green. Okay, so how can you tell them apart during the day? The main way is their underside. If you, if the ridge is uh, underneath, they're called gills. If they run parallel, no good. It's a jack-o'-lantern. If they're all over the place, like in, it's just whatever. Uh, qu not quite, but sure, that works. Uh, all right. I think that's easy enough to remember. If you want to pick some of them for me, I can check them before we add them to the rest. There's a few other types around here, so if, if, if I find any that are interesting, I'll show you. Ah, oh, sure, okay, all right. But, um, you've got me wondering. What? gonna take me up on my offer no 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 not that just mushrooms they're not like flowers right not really no why then how do you know to tell them apart seems kind of like an odd thing to know offhand all these con uh, considered dean's eyes darted to the ground briefly uh and he rests uh, rested his hands on his hips seemingly thinking his reply well Truth is, I made the mistake once. We were visiting Gramps up in the mountains, and I just and I just assumed I could eat whatever. Looked like ones that uh, that we'd had at dinner before, so I didn't think anything of it. Oh wait, which did you eat? The good or the bad? Given the panic, I'd guessing it was a jack o' lantern. I just remembered getting real sick and needing to drink a lot of water, and the funky black stuff. Uh, and this funky black stuff. Plus, getting lectured by my mom about putting stuff in my mouth. There was a tense silence that I, that preceded, uh, while I uh, preceded it. At least he was, uh, at least he was around someone who knows how to deal best with that sort of situation. Not that the lecture didn't, not that the lecture did munch bind you. I didn't keep mom up to date on all the things I put in my mouth these days. Jesus. Uh, all it <laughs> took was that smile and, uh, wiggle of his eyebrows to make, uh, to make me laugh, followed up by a quick pat on the head before he turned and looked around. Dean wandered off to another spot and started looking around, almost disappearing behind the trees, leaving me to the, the mushrooms in the area. I turned to the mushrooms around and started to look over, taking, uh, taking heed of Dean's instructions every second. Every second one I, I found seemed to be bad, and I moved on to the next, adding the, adding to quick, uh, to the quickly increasing pile to my arms. Uh, it was nice out, 
just closing my eyes and listening to everything going on in the forest. The rustle of the leaves, the sound of Dean moving around uh, nearby, humming to himself as he did whatever it was that he was doing. Even from where we stood, there was a darkness that veiled everything beyond more trees, to the point where I didn't know which direction the mansion was in. But then, something caught my eye. Uh, a ways in, a blurry, a blur of white disappearing behind a tree. I didn't quite catch what it was, but it seemed as though Dean didn't catch it from what he was still on his knees in the soil. I wandered off, mushrooms in hand, towards whatever I was, whatever I saw. Hello? There was a slight echo of my voice bouncing off the trees, but other than that, there was silence. A chill went down my spine, and I found myself filling the silence with uh, nervous laughter. As much as I went, as much as I went self-conscious about my own laughter, as a hyena should, it was better than the void I was in. Anyone there? Still more silence, causing me to laugh just uh, that little bit more. I began to shake trying to look around uh, to spot Dean and make my way back, but... Oh no, how far did I even go? Uh... I take a look another round before realizing that there was no point going anywhere. After all, there was no telling which way I'd even come from. I started wandering in a small circle, peeking around the trees to catch a glimpse of him to know which way I should be headed. Dean? I called out, hoping for a reply, but nothing came. Ugh, I'm going to be stuck out here like Roswell was, huh? Silence. I was surrounded by it, and after a while, I parked at the base of a tree, waiting for Dean to come find me. Dave, where are you? I must have fallen asleep, but I could have sworn I heard Dave's voice waking me up. Dean? Uh, Dean rounded a tree, and I was sitting under in a mixture... Uh, between distraught, furious, and relieved, he dropped the basket of mushrooms he had and kneeled bef um, before me, embracing me tightly. Why'd you wander off? Thought I'd lost you out there. Uh, there wasn't, there wasn't that usual uh, raunchy side of Dean that I'd come to expect, but something more primal. Sorry, thought I saw some something. Don't do it again. He whacked me upside the head gently before hugging me again. Seriously, you had me worried for a moment. I hugged him back, but it was him. Uh, but it was him who broke away first, uh, retrieving his bucket and looking at me. I see you found a couple mushrooms. Uh, yeah. What do you think? Dean looked over each mushroom, double checking them before either adding them to the pile or giving them a sniff before throwing them in. Not bad. They're all fine. So you've done well to avoid the dangerous ones. Just as well, I only really know how to tell these apart and what a, a moral looks like. Guess I better grab Roswell if I was to search for anything else, huh? Guess so, yeah. I looked past Dean towards the darkness, wondering if the thing I saw originally was just a figment of my imagination or not. You okay? I know this is a poor excuse for a date, but... Oh, yeah, it, I'm good, I think. Maybe. I'm just tired. You sure? Positive. Although, I don't really know which way is the mansion. How far are we, anyway? A little ways in, for sure. In fact, I might get the... Might, uh, it might be best for us to head back now. You can take these to Orlando, and maybe I can go see if Roswell is doing anything and bring him out. I think we're done for the day, if I'm reading you right. Sorry, Dean. Yeah, I think I am. Don't be sorry. I should be apologizing that this isn't much of a date. There'll be another opportunity soon, promise. I'm going to hold you to that. Do I still get to reserve getting a good night kiss? I laughed, uh, smacking my, uh, shaking my head at where his mind had gone, but it, but it was enough to take the edge off. Uh, sure, Dean, you can still get a good night kiss. Dean led the way back to uh, way back and handed over the handed off the basket to me while he went to the greenhouse to see if he had another one. Orlando, I brought I bring mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms. 
Yeah, Dean and I went into the forest, and he showed me how to pick them, the, uh, these. Oh, uh, Chandler, blah, 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 blah. Right, these, uh, they're pretty telling from their color, no? Apparently, they look like a dangerous one. Jack-o'-lanterns? I look over to Orlando, whose eyes darted up from the basket I was holding to Roswell, not wanting to get any closer. These are all good ones, right? Uh, did you want me to check? Uh, Dean checked them and said they were all fine, but it couldn't hurt, though. Oh, and he said he was probably going to go back out there and wanted your ex expertise, Roswell. Me? Well, all right. But I don't want to spend another night out there. I wouldn't worry about that. Dean found me and led me back out, no problem. Although I did sort of wander off. That was reckless. <laughs> yeah, it was. But I guess you're safe, so that's what matters. Right, well, let's have a look at these mushrooms. I'll go find Dean. In a flash, Roswell, uh, the word, everything that had been picked, going through and checking the undersides, make, much like how Dean had told me to check. He even picked one out and peeled it, supposedly looking for something. Well, are they safe? Looks good to me. I'd be willing to eat these. What a relief. All right. I'll get to cooking, figuring out what to do with them. Shame you can't eat them raw, but they're a little rough if you if you react badly to them. Well, I'll leave it to you. Dean's probably outside, right? Greenhouse still, probably. If you head over there, you'll probably run into him. All right, I'll see you later. We waved uh, Roswell off before I caught Orlando looking at me funny. So... I'm not sure I, I like that look or tone. You like him? Orlando nudges me before taking the mushrooms over to the sink, uh, pulling out the colander, co colander to start washing the mushrooms. Who, Roswell? No, not Roswell, Dave, Dean. Oh, uh, I felt my cheeks start to heat up and once the nervous chuckling came out and as I tried to think of what to, uh, a way to deflect Orlando's question. Unfortunately, he knew my tales is all, all too well. I knew it, that's adorable. Well, hey now, it's not like that. Sure it isn't. You and him have been trying to get together for a while now. I was worried that ship was never going to come true. <laughs> You've been shipping me and Dean for how long? Oh. I ship you with a few people, really. You deserve someone nice. And it's just nice to see you having feelings towards someone else in such a pure way. Ugh. Orlando, please, you're going to make my ears burn with stuff like uh, with stuff like that. If it makes you feel any better, I think Sal likes me back. Oh? Yeah, this morning went over great. Lots of casual touching, talking a bit about feelings, even came up behind me once and got real close if you know what I'm know what I'm saying. I don't think I do. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> oh yeah, um I hate to be forward, but you've never done anything with another guy before, right? Uh, uh, whoa, that's a bit forward, Orlando. Uh, Dean rubbing off on you or <laughs> Hardly. Just want to make sure that uh, your first time is, uh, I guess, both memorable and enjoyable. I get the impression that with how big a game Dean talks that he might be a bit more than you can handle. Only a hunch, though. Uh, it was a thoughtful gesture, but I was I was still reeling from how, how out of field, left field this all seemed. What? Uh, what did you have in mind? Oh, nothing major. Uh, just if you need lube or stuff, uh, just let me know, and I'll I'll make sure you have it before you get busy. Well, don't expect me to come asking anytime soon. I think I'm a ways off uh, that still. I don't think he even knows that he'd be my first if we got there. Oh, dear. Hmm. A couple times in the following silence, I caught Orlando moving to... S to say something, perhaps offer an opinion or something, but he cut himself off, shaking his head and focusing on washing the mushrooms. In which case, all I could offer is the advice I to take it slow. I don't think he'll he'll mean to hurt you, but remember, you can always have the option and say no, or stop if it feels uncomfortable. 
And if he dares not respect that, just let me know. I watch over Orlando's eyes flickering across to the knife, uh, the knife block, uh, okay, uh, nearby before returning to look me dead in the eye. I, all, all right, I'll be sure to let you know. Good. For the rest of the afternoon, I chill with Orlando, watching him prepare these mushrooms. I didn't look like we were, it didn't look like we were having stew anymore, but whatever Orlando was doing smelled delicious. No stew, right? I helped Orlando set the table. Supposedly Benson had uh, been scarce enough to not do it for us. Not that we really needed his help. Nope, there's leftover pizza still for people who who want that, but there's a few nice cuts of meat that, given the mushrooms, seem to be a good choice. I think Dean was looking forward to stew, although I'm not really sure. Well, he'll just um, have to deal. That said, uh, you guys got heaps of mushrooms, so maybe we can do stew tomorrow night. Did I hear someone say stew? We're back with mushrooms. Hey, how many did you get? Uh, we sort of went overboard, sorry. Um, what they'd brought in was a bunch of, uh, was uh, another whole basket of white mushrooms. And from a big basket, there was, there was a lot. Oh, what are these? Uh, patty straws. And, uh, at least that's what Roswell rec reckons. Uh, I have to be careful, though. They look almost as, uh... They look almost the same as death caps if you aren't careful. I'm guessing they're pretty bad. Uh, that doesn't begin to describe it. Eating one of those, uh, eating one can put you on maybe a very painful six hour clock. They're pretty bad, Dave. Can't even cook them and to make them edible. Their poison will transfer across whatever they're in. I look again and at the basket Dean was carrying, suddenly wondering just how sure Roswell was at making sure they hadn't picked up one of the death caps by mistake. I wouldn't worry, Dave. Death caps seem pretty distinct, almost like uh, cleaning chemicals, so you'd be hard pressed to miss one. I heard a. I caught a glimpse of Dean flashing me a, a confident smile before I nod to Roswell. All right, if you say so. Despite all the mushrooms that Dean and Roswell had picked, all of them seemed to be uh, to be staying in the kitchen, as the just whatever, yeah, those mushrooms that Orlando had prepped had ended up in a platter between us, with 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 not another in sight. I had uh, I had Dean on one side and Tyson on the other, but the wolf seemed content to dig into his steak without pint paying anyone else any mind. Dean, on the other hand, uh, have you had one of the mushrooms yet? Not yet. Why? In one seat motion, Dean plucked one from a platter and held it towards my mouth. Come on, you'll like it. Promise. Oh man, I hate that. <laughs> I hate people shoving food in my face. Like, I don't know. Kind of one of those things. Oh, uh... The fact he was using his bare hands to feed me a little felt odd. Uh, but I must have been caught up in the moment as I found myself opening my mouth, looking down at the mushroom between uh, Dean's digits. Uh, not too hot, so it won't burn. I promise you that much. Not like it's going to kill you. <laughs> Didn't even make it to my lips before Orlando batted his hand away, giving his, him a deadpan stare. Really? Hand feeding? <laughs> hey, I'm allowed, right, Dave? Before I could reply, Orlando huffed. He's capable of feeding himself, you know. <laughs> Have some table manners at. At least use a fork next time. Oh, um. As Dean was looking at his fork, I went and grabbed the mushroom from myself, skewering it with my own fork, shoving it in my mouth. And greeted, greeting me was not a taste I was expecting. It was buttery, rich, almost fruity, somewhere like an apricot, but meaty at the same time. If there was some sort of apricot crossed with a steak mix, this would be it. Huh, that's that's not what I was expecting. Good, huh? It's different, I'll give it that. Deem shrugged and chewed down on the mushroom still in his hand. 
Uh, still missing his fork beyond that. Uh, there wasn't much at all to talk about, with Haas being the one really leading the conversation insofar as checking in on everyone. Well, that's another day down. Sorry, I sort of bailed on you after the first little bit. Nah, it's fine. After all, I think being out in the woods was doing something to me, or at least the... Uh, or at the very least, I probably could have uh, had done a whole day out there. We'll work up to, to it, maybe. So, if we can find the river, we can do some fishing. <laughs> Reckon it'd be a long walk. Probably. But you never know. Could be closer than we think. Dean then came, to, came in close to the point where I could still smell the gravy from dinner on his breath. I know this is a long shot, but... <laughs> uh, feeling up to sharing a bed tonight? What, what do you mean? Like, I mean, only if... Uh, you want to. Just sharing a bed unless you say otherwise. Uh, oh. Oh. Well, how far can we push this? <laughs> oh. Hmm. Sure. Sharing a bed sounds nice. I mean, I'll want to shower before jumping into the bed first. Want to share one together? Is <laughs> what I'd normally ask, but I need a good cleaning too. Better I handle it solo rather than try to focus on when I'm when I've got y your handsome body in front of me. Uh, tell you what though, I have something I need to take care of in the greenhouse before bed. So if you go have a shower, I'll check in on you when I'm done and see what we where we stand. Whatever you decide works for me. All right, sure. Guess I'll see you in a bit. Dean headed off uh, towards the back door, waving back before disappearing outside. As for me, I headed upstairs. As I got a as I got clean as I got myself clean, I uh, thought about what Devin pr had proposed. It wasn't that bad of an idea, right? After all, it wouldn't be any different to sharing a bed with Roswell during a sleepover. At least that's what I kept telling myself. A combination of the heat and the suds shifting my thoughts towards what uh, what it'd be like to to have Dean in the shower with me. I caught my hands wandering, uh, eyes closed tightly, just imagining what he'd do, what he'd say, but I realized that if I wanted to find out so badly, he'd be coming by anyway. Uh, once changed into a fresh uh, underwear, I began to wait. At some point, I w wondered what was keeping him. It uh, had been near an hour with no sign of him. There was every chance that he'd gone to bed or had his own shower rather than waiting for me. Uh, Dean? I threw a pair of loose-fitting loose, uh, loose -fitting shorts and wandered over to his room, but I found his room unlocked, empty, and no sign he had been there since morning. Where is he? Where's who? Oh, Roswell, where did you come from? Sorry, I didn't st uh, did I startle you? Uh, uh fine. It's fine, uh, I guess. Have you seen Dean? Dean? Hmm. Not since dinner, I think. Uh, left with you, right? That's what I. That's when I last saw him, too. Said he was going to come upstairs after doing something in the greenhouse. Then he's probably still out there, right? Uh, just don't stay out too long without a shirt. You'll catch gold. Almost as if on coup, Roswell started coughing, uh, clutching his chest before breathing out a sigh. Uh, I can't, uh, shake my own cough. Don't want to end up like me, Dave. You sure you're gonna be alright? I'll be fine. I'll just be making some tea before turning in. Best of luck finding Dean. He'll be around somewhere for sure. I head outside, part, um, parting ways with Roswell, and started towards the greenhouse. Ugh, I should have thought, uh, oh. Uh, it'll be fine. Uh, as I took another step forward, I I stepped in something slick, wet, and it immediately uh, and I immediately sighed out. Dean, you out here? Ooh, music. Okay. As I got closer to the greenhouse, I noticed the door still open. A dark smear on the glass door. D Dean. As soon as I step inside, there was a sudden smell that hit me in force. Hard to describe, but it was pungent and not overly pleasant. 
Uh, but I could hear the wheezing of someone in here. A sharp intake of air, like a, like a gas, but it sent shivers down my spine. Dave? Uh, time seemed to come to a standstill as I lean, as I held Dean's gaze. His eyes glazed over and unfocused. His front was covered in blood and what I assumed was what I assumed was dinner at some point. Wh what happened? I don't. Again, the rattling intake of air gave me chills watching Dean struggle to keep up his head. Dean, what? Uh, I cradled his jaw, trying to get him to focus uh, just long enough to answer. How can I help? What do you need? What happened? Uh, the, the precious seconds following ticked by with Dean saying nothing, staring back to me in a daze. I, I must have eaten something. I don't know. Feel so good. He turned to the side, dry heaving, but nothing came up. Instead, blood uh, mixed with drool pooled and leaked out of his mouth. I, I'll i go get help. Hang on there, Dean. Wait, don't. Please. His strength wasn't there to keep, an, keep a hold on me, but I stopped at the same, paralyzed in fear of what was happening. I don't. Please. I couldn't help... Uh, I couldn't tell if he was crying, but his eyes were all over the place, reaching out for me to stay. Dean, you're you're not. Dave, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't. Uh, my breath caught in my chest, uh, waiting for him to finish apologizing. But it never came. Instead, all that I got was a single rattled exhale before the tension in Dean's shoulders uh, left and he sat there limp. Dean? I waited a moment, uh, staring at his vacant expression. Dean. Dean, hey. I shook him gently, but no response. His head just uh, lulled limp to the side, chin uh, bumping against his uh, chest and arms slumped to the side. I was making uh, noise before I was, uh, was conscious of it, uh, yelling in fear and panic, running for the door. I got to the to the back door, collapsing on my knees, uh, clutching my head, and just yelling in denial for what I'd, what I'd just seen. His expression was burned into my head, and no amount of pulling my ears or yelling seemed to make it uh, the image fade. And Dave, what's wrong? Wait, weren't you looking for... Roswell was by my side in a flash, arms over my back, but the last... Uh, but that lasted for all of seconds before I shoved him away, knocking him to the ground. Orlando, take care of Dave. I'm going to check the greenhouse. Uh, all right. Roswell wasn't gone long, and for all the uh, yelling I was doing, it's no wonder that the others had come, had come outside too. Then we've, we've got no time to delay. We can still revive him. It's too late, and there's no safe way to do it either. I'm sorry, Sal. You can't save him. I have to try. No. If I had to guess, based on what he looked like, he was poisoned. We can't risk you getting any anything left over that he ate or and losing you too. But... Hey, how did he... When did he... At some point, I started to cling to Orlando, him rubbing my back to try and calm me down. Uh, I, it'd have to be dinner, right? I felt Orlando tense up, and I pull away from him gently, searching his face for any sign he was the... Uh, searching for any sign that he was the one that did it. It wasn't me, I swear! If it was me, then everyone else would have gotten sick too, right? If it was Orlando... Was there a way that he could have done it before I could say anything to um, anything to that point? Tyson pulled me away from Orlando. Yeah, then explain why you kept giving Dean looks during dinner. What? Why were you watching Dean? I, I'm not allowed to look at Dean. 
Tyson seemed keen on slinging out Orlando as the culprit, while Sal having to act as a meat shield and play mediator while Haas got in contact with the police, or someone else on the phone. At some point, I wandered back into the greenhouse. I think Roswell was following too, just to get away from the argument following at the back door. Dean. As much as a mess he was, I tried shaking him again, hoping he was just out of it or sleeping, but got nowhere. Dave, maybe, maybe you shouldn't. I stepped back, looking him over before shooting Roswell a look. You said poison, right? Yeah, seemed obvious to me. I can tell by his hand. His hands look fine to me, covered in blood of whatever, whatever else maybe, but you can't smell it? Smell what, the blood? No, the um, uh, um, um, uh, um, yeah? yeah, that word. Uh... I'm gonna write down that word. Okay. I wouldn't worry, Dave. Death cats, uh, death caps smell pretty distinct, almost like cleaning chemicals. So you'd be hard pressed to miss one. Death cap? Uh. Okay. Wait, what? That thing you said before about them having that smell, was he killed with a death cap? That's what I was thinking, yeah. At least that's what it smelled like from his hand. Wait, but, but that'd mean that he ate one himself. Something inside me suddenly felt heavy and rapidly sank down to the rest on, uh, down to rest on my stomach to make me feel uh, violently ill at the prospect. Uh, suicide? I can't, it, it can't have been. But if he did eat one, or even multiple in speed, how fast it happened, when? When could he have eaten something like that? He seemed fine after dinner, but he said he was going to come up and check on, check in on me. That's not something someone that would kill themselves would do, right? I ponder this question right up until the police arrive, peeling me away from... Uh, being near Dean. I just wanted to find out what happened, both who and how. As uh, that word, as Tyson was about being thrown the blame towards uh, bellig belligerent? Belligerent? Yeah, belligerent. Oh, I, I word. Okay. Uh, maybe. Watch me be wrong. I'll be so sad. Uh, the police didn't place any of us under arrest until we'd, after we'd been questioned, but it, but it seemed as though Orlando was still the prime suspect. It came as bittersweet. On one hand, it was reassuring that suicide seemed to be the least likely cause of death, but on the other hand, I wanted to believe Orlando didn't do it either. The funeral was hard. I didn't realize Dean's family was so large. He'd said he had a big family, but I didn't realize just how big it was. Uh, I'd met some of them before, but it was hard enough uh, seeing his mother bawling before his, uh, her son's coffin. Harder still was when she uh, scooped me up and started blabbing about how much Dean talked about me. Days turned into weeks, and I was at home sitting outside, mourning uh, the gap the gap uh, Dean had left me. It was hard to say that, say just how much of a, uh, it was because I was there in the final moments as opposed to anything deeper than that. Hey Dave. I almost jumped, not expecting anyone to address me. He looked to have stepped on a fancy black, stepped out of a black, fancy black car, a chef or whatever and the driver's seat, chauffeur in the driver's seat as his father watched me with his uh, steely scowl. Hey. 
I got up and went to walk towards Orlando, but he stayed firmly on the other side of the gate, leaning on it, refusing to look at me in the eye. Listen, I I just wanted to come by and say goodbye. Oh, where, where are you going? Away. Proven innocent in the trial, but... He left the comment hanging, and as soon as he made it uh, to look at me in the eye, I averted my gaze, still uncertain. I thought so. You don't believe that I'm innocent, do you? I don't know, I just... I shouted at first, uh, shrinking out into myself as upon realizing what I'd done. Uh-huh. Well, I better go. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Dave. Take care of yourself. He was already in the car before I managed to get uh, the latch of the gate open, and I stepped out onto the road behind the car as it disappeared down the street and out of sight. That was the last time I saw Orlando in person. Last I heard, he was working as a pastry chef on the side of, on the other side of the country. A picture of him is um, the front of his uh, his shop in a magazine. I happened a year or so later. So, tell me again why we're driving to the other side of the country. To go see Orlando. And you can't fly because... Because you offered to keep me company. And you said, fuck no, a road trip sounds more fun and you need, and you need some cheering up. For the next half hour, uh, Tyson just grumbled to the seat next to me, keeping his eyes on the road. Oh, uh, you sure you're... Um, okay for this? Huh? Look, I know I'm not the fucking brightest, but you've been moping outside your house more times I've walked by than I can count. I... I think so. I still miss him. I miss them both, really. And you can't just call the homo and say sorry over the phone? I need to do this in person, I think. We were friends for years, and I owe him that much. We drove over to the other side of the country from what it seemed like weeks. It was hard to tell as Tyson kept detouring to go look at stuff. He was trying his best to distract me or make me feel better. At some stage, he even uh, stopped at a hardware store and got a can some cans of spray paint, saying that if I needed to vandalize something to feel better, he'd be along for the ride. When we arrived, Tyson waited in the car, saying simply that he'd just wait for for as long as I needed. It was late, no one else was in the store, and it looked like Orlando was just inside sweeping, preparing to close up. No sooner than I'd opened the door a bell drive, uh, and the bell chimed, he turned to me. Welcome, I'm about to close, but... Oh. Hey. I... I'm sorry, uh, I'm about to close up, so you should probably leave. No, Orlando, I just... I, I want to apologize. You want to apologize? Now? You've left me in a lurch, Dave. Yeah, lurch, Dave. I remember how you looked at me. Do you know how that made me feel? How it felt to have someone you thought was your best friend to think you killed somebody? Do you know? Do you even know what it's like to sit there and sit there in the defendant's chair with a judge deciding if you killed a, a mutual friend? Or what it's like to be in a holding cell? It's it's haunting. I was so scared. I shuffled uncomfortably in place as uh, Orlando shook, holding, night, holding tight to the broom that he was propping himself up with. I felt abandoned. I, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Then why? Why did you think I did it? How could you think that poorly of me, Dave? You blamed me, whether you, you, out, you outrightly meant it or not, over a mushroom. Just... I can't look at you right now. Get out. If you're still in town tomorrow afternoon, then maybe I'll be ready to talk more then. But just... I'm torn between hugging you from missing you and hitting you for how much you hurt me. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Orlando went back to sweeping, turning his back on me, and uh, from what I could make out, he was just waiting for me to leave. Tyson and I stuck around for another day, but much like the day before, uh, Orlando shrugged me off, 
he wasn't ready. Ap- apologized and asked me to not come back. It hurt, but sometimes things just end up that way. So, I looked to Tyson as uh, he was trying to find uh, the words, eyes focused on the stretch of road before us. We don't have to go back if you don't want. What do you mean? Well, you still got me, yeah? Tyson pulled over, drumming his fingers on the on the wheel before leaning over and pulling me into an awkward hug. Anywhere you want to go, I'll take you there. I uh, just want you to be happy again, all right? Before I had a chance to hug him back, we were on back on the road. We ended up back at home at some point, long enough for me to get some more of my things before we set off for a, again across the country to find uh, to find a place to move in together. Um, by chance, I just happened to notice the letter stuck out on the doormat at my do- front door. Who is this for you? Uh, who left this here? I picked up the letter. The only thing written on it was my name on the front in unassuming handwritten letters. Hey, you ready? Let's get going. Tyson was waving me over from the car, trying to get me to hurry. Read the letter now? Yes? I shot Tyson a look and tore open the letter, scanning the contents. I'd gotten a letter similar to this from Dean's family, hoping I was doing okay, much like I'd sent them. But this was addressed to from someone else. Come on already, read it in the car. Wait. My eyes narrowed at the page and I read over it again. Dearest Dave, I'm sorry for your loss. Losing Dean was painful, and the world is a much darker place without him. And regrettably, by the time you read this, I'm not sure how much longer I'll be around either. I'm sorry. I should have known better. I should have been more careful. There were mushrooms out there that were dangerous, and I should have stopped him. Dave promised, uh, Dave, promise me that when I'm gone that you'll take... You'll take nothing to chance. Be careful, but live your life to the fullest. Roswell. No sooner than, no sooner I had read the name that I pulled out my phone and tried calling Roswell, but all I got was the number was disconnected. Who, who you calling? I tried again, but I got a message saying, uh, message I just stared blankly at my phone, confused and uh, bordering on anger. Roswell, here. I gave Tyson the letter, uh, and he read it, sighing out loud after. What do you want to do? Is there anything we can do? How long has it even been here? Tyson put an arm over my shoulder, checking his phone before putting it away and grinding a gentle, uh, a knuckle gently into my head. Come on, let's make tracks. We drove over, and I found myself thinking about everything that had happened, how I could have ha- how it could have happened, wh- what uh, Roswell had said happened, and if there was any way I could have stopped it from happening. Uh, I don't think I'll ever <laughs> eat a mushroom again, huh? Just a single mushroom is all it took, a death cap. Right? Dunno, I try not to think about it. I'd rather just buy mushrooms from the store, I guess. Yeah. As we drove off and searched for a place where we could leave all this behind us. Huh. Well, I guess I got Dean's bad ending. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Interesting. Uh, resonate? What does that even mean? Yes. I made my way back to the vault, uh, combined with the gut feeling I had. Anything was drawing. Uh, uh, Okay. Uh, there was a moment's pause before the LED panel uh, flashed vividly. Almost immediately, I felt something grip in my chest, 
a tightening sensation that made it hard to breathe. I hear, I could hear my heart beat fast, uh, hard and fast in my chest as uh, something like a m memory flashed across the, for uh, the forefront of my mind. I guess uh, out of breath, and no sooner uh, had I been uh, given enough of a whatever for air, the tightening came back in full force. I fell to my knees, clutching my chest. Uh, the pain spiked again, uh, spiked once more before fading away to nothing, as if it was never there to begin with. What? What the hell? I looked towards the um, the input panel and uh, gulped, wondering if I had something uh, drugged me just by touching it. But there was no sensation on my fingers. That was just uh, that may have hinted as such. I put it down to being half asleep still, but I was rattled enough and awake enough to find that claim empty. Was Dean in trouble though? Sick maybe? Something to keep in mind for sure. I took one last look around the room before heading back to, to get changed for breakfast. Hmm. Okay, so I'm at the back. I'm, I'm back at the beginning of... Okay. By the time we'd all assembled into the dining room, Orlando went into the kitchen only to uh, bring us out food, whatever. You know, you really don't have to cater for us. Hmm. I've been, I've been recording for an hour, so I think I'll call it there. I guess we time traveled. I'm sure they'll explain all of that later. Probably. Uh, that was really cool though. Got to see like the boy die, I guess. That was kind of heartbreaking, but if like that's gonna be like the format for the rest of the game of like experiencing like bad things, someone dying, you needing to figure out a password to fix it, that's kind of neat. I kind of like that, but I know I'm gonna be an idiot and just not know, not realize what um words I need to get like right there where it's like, hey, this other word was used more than once and was described in the same conversation. It's a good thing I wrote down both, but yeah, whatever. Um, we'll see you next time.